mean, the overall goal of the project is to see what's out there, to find sensitive habitats and protect them. So the kinds of sensitive habitats that the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management wants to protect are sort of, in this context of the whole cruise, are in kind of three different categories. The canyons, the seeps, and the corals, um, but all sensitive for, for different reasons. That's what I'm interested in, is getting sort of a big holistic view of how these systems work. So I think one of the most interesting things about this project is the discovery and exploration aspect. This is fairly un unexplored and having the opportunity to find these kinds of habitats and, and sample them here allows us to go to a big global map and say, okay, where else would these sorts of habitats be? By understanding the places that we're working in now, that gives us a chance to model and predict areas that may have deep sea corals and seep environments. Ultimately, the data we're collecting will enable us to help with management considerations for other areas. In a way, I wish that we could take everybody down to the bottom of the ocean. To go in Alvin, it's a really profound and surprisingly emotional experience. The mapping efforts done by this ship, as well as the Okeanos Explorer, revealed these extensive environments that I really had no appreciation for before. And so it was really surprising when we got there and it looked very similar to what you all saw. Just coral along the edges and live coral on top. The possibilities for where Lophelia could be forming reefs are now bigger than they used to be. First step, obviously, if you want to protect something is to actually know where it is. To do something like to go out to sea requires more than one federal partner. It's a pretty unique example of a partnership. We're the only federal agency committed to exploring the deep ocean. These projects are a natural fit for us because everything we're doing here is exploring new environments. BOEM manages the overall contract and the project itself. We can't do it alone. We have a suite of academic partners. And by bringing all of these different scientific experts together, we can improve the information gathered for every federal dollar spent offshore. And the fact is that it's been a very exciting expedition so far. Coming out here, we've collected the environmental data, so then we can simulate the environmental data back at the lab with the corals and, and put them under different conditions to see how they're responding and how they're contributing to the overall community out here. We have the samples, we have coral, but this is step one. All of that's going back to, what, nine different labs to be looked at? So there's, there's a lot that stands to be learned. All of this information, all of the data, will guide our missions coming up in October and next year in April. We'll be using an ROV, so we'll be able to stay down a lot longer, gather a lot more samples, and uh, really continue to build the story about these exciting Atlantic margin environments.